What's up everybody? Welcome back to the shed. Back for another tool review. And I know what you're thinking, Mike. This is the wrong color tools. It's not the wrong color, it's a different color. And it's okay. Um, this was sent to me by the Home Depot to check out and review. And like with a lot of these reviews, I want to use them as much as possible before I formulate my opinion and put it on video for you guys to watch. And um, even though this was sent to me, I'm still going to be completely honest. These aren't bad. Right off the bat, they're not bad at all. I think they're good. Uh, if you know uh, the, the channel and you watch a lot of my other videos, you'll know what my regular drill looks like. And my regular drill is freaking huge. It may be the biggest cordless drill ever made. When I first got it, it was the most powerful thing on the planet. It would, I would be blowing all my coworkers away. But it's brushed. And times have changed. And brushless has taken over. And you're, you're basically a punk if you don't have brushless equipment. <laughs> Not really, but it's, it's just the, the top of the line. It's the way to go. So this is the uh, DeWalt 20 Volt Max XR Drill and Impact Combo Kit. DeWalt is saying that they get 57% more runtime over brushed technology with the brushless motors. And um, I can't really say I disagree with that. I don't, you know, I haven't uh, calculated, I haven't calculated all the numbers yet. But, I will say, I've been keeping the 4 amp hour battery in the drill and the 2 amp hour battery in the impact, and I have yet to kill either of these in a day. Um, I haven't given it, I haven't really tried to use them into the second day. I will just keep them charged. Um, but uh, the 4 amp hour in the drill has lasted all day, and the 2 amp has lasted all day in the impact. Um, yeah, it's been about three weeks. Um, my my regular impact is much smaller than this, and I never wanted to get a higher voltage impact because they all were um, they were all too powerful. I th I thought they were too powerful. I saw a lot of guys make a lot of mistakes because they only had one speed, and you're using one of these like self tappers for steel. It's five sixteenths. Um, what would happen is you're drilling, you're drilling, you're drilling at like some crazy RPM, and then it catches threads bottoms out and snaps the head off before you even know what happened and right you know you wanted to put a fastener right there in that exact spot now you can't because the screw is is stuck in there and you got to move it up or down a little bit and you're not i mean you could get that thing out but most of the time you don't you try to just cover it up um it's just it's just not good this bad boy has three speeds I personally have been using it on speed two pretty much the entire time. I, do, I dropped it down into one a couple times for um, the blue tap con screws into uh, concrete walls. But uh, here's here's a little demonstration. Let me look at the uh, RPMs here. 1,2832.5 is the RPM levels you get. There's the thousand. Um, you're not going to break anything with that. Nice and controllable. Variable speed trigger, right? Here's what I've been using it on. Yeah, sounds pretty crazy. Um, you'd think that was that was it, but it does have one higher than that. That's all the RPMs, all at once. Um, honestly, I haven't needed speed three for anything yet. It's only been three weeks, but um, yeah, speed three is crazy. That's uh, 3,250 RPM. But this thing's a beast. It's got the three I call them like the close encounters of the third kind LED lights on there. I like the I like that they're kind of positioned around the end there. You don't really get any shadows and no matter how you got it angled, you can only see what you're working on. Um, it's got the belt clip, pocket clip, ladder clip, whatever you want to clip it onto. Um, I like actually I like these a lot because um, they're a little bit wider set than a lot of the other clips. And you can clip it onto a lot more stuff. So, um, weird stuff. Stuff you wouldn't even think of. Maybe like a, a, a pipe or something up in the ceiling. It would still, even though it wouldn't sit in there all the way, you could still hang it on there. So, I've been pretty impressed with that. Um, like I said, the, I've completely put the other tools away for the time being and been using these exclusively. And the drill. This drill has actually a really, really neat feature that um, whoever the DeWalt engineer is that came up with this one, he deserves a little bit of a raise because I was like, that's so, why hasn't anybody else done this? So I'll get to that in a second. Um, this does have 
hammer drill function where you know you put uh, your carbide tipped bit in there and I do really like the chucks on this too here we go hammer drill function um, not something I use typically if you were in a pinch and you needed like one hole it would work fine but we all at, at my company we all use cordless SDS's but um, you know it does have hammer drill on there it does not have a place for a handle you know a side handle but like I said it, I think the hammer drill feature on a, a half inch drill like this is kind of is, is being a lot less popular to use because of the cordless rotary hammers um, and then you have your drill regular drilling mode and then a 13 position clutch so you can dial in that torque not over tighten something if you're doing something you know uh, repetitious over and over again and you don't want to break anything you can dial your torque in and I do like that that is how the settings change it's not a separate clutch like some other brands it is hammer full-blown no clutch drilling and then highest torque setting and then all the way down to one and that's the that's the clutch slipping inside so you don't get too much torque this has a two-speed transmission. Um, I've been pretty much keeping this on two. I haven't needed all that torque from speed one. But I imagine, because um, I, I do own a very old DeWalt drill, a 14-volt drill that I had back in 2001, and it is still kicking. That 14-volt drill would run one of the big, long nail eater auger bits and when I did residential um, if I was in a pinch or we'd put the generator and the big drill away I could put I could put you know a hole in a couple studs with that and everybody was so impressed at the 14 volt I guarantee you this thing can do it that drill is 17 years old and this is lithium ion this is brushless this is two more volts better technology better engineering and um I've been really happy with them. It's not my usual brand, but um, I, I can't, there's not a bad thing to say about it. The cool feature where I said, why hasn't anybody thought of this yet? And I kind of had to figure this out. I actually had to open the instructions. I mean, personally, I don't need the instructions for this guy. Um, I have used them before. I see this. Speeds, forward, reverse. All right, I'm good to go. Um, this has something on it different, though. So you have your, you have your light down here. All right, and it's it's down here on the bottom, and it angles up at where you're working. So I'm like, well, look at that. It's got three settings. And you got a little bit brighter, so you got, you got kind of dim, kind of a mood lighting, you know, kind of a romantic lighting. And then you got a little, uh, like a good bit brighter. You're like, all right, I really need. I got no light at all. I really need to see what I'm drilling into. And then you got, oh my God, why is that so bright? <laughs> and that was the original setting that it was on when I, I first put a battery in it and. Pulled the trigger and it, and it stayed on and I'm like huh DeWalt's really uh man they're really building in a lot of uh, runtime out of the light the work light on this thing another like minute went by and it was still on and I'm like what is going on here so I opened the instructions up and I'm looking exactly what these are and uh, this is a 20 minute flashlight setting you don't even have to pull the trigger to get it into it so you got no light oh yeah you do have to pull the trigger <laughs> pull the trigger that light bright as hell I mean it will light up I don't know if you can see it it's, it's a little spotlight that will light up everything you need for 20 minutes so if your headlamp goes out your other lighting equipment all of a sudden the power goes out the dumbass electricians are flipping breakers on you and you're in the back room somewhere they don't know you're back there and you're not prepared um, you always if you got your drill you always have a really bright light and I was uh that's an awesome idea like why it's it's lithium ion it's LED you know, this battery will run that light for probably 20 hours. I don't know. Maybe maybe not that much. But it's very low. It's not like, you know, incandescence where they're using a ton of power and, and creating a lot of heat. It's LED. It's You're not going to really affect the runtime much at all by running that light for 20 minutes. And even if you need to... Oh, it went out. Hit it again. Another 20 minutes. Um... It's gonna. It's 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 a good feature. It's it's awesome. And it's... Um, I, even, I even used it once already. Um... The exact thing happened to me. I was working in a room, and one of my coworkers just—he didn't care. He didn't ask anybody. He just shut all the lights off, and I needed to tie in like one more electrical box, and uh, had this nearby. And I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's right." Put that on. It shined right up at my electrical box. I tied it in, 
and then went and, you know, yelled at the guy who turned the lights off and everybody. <laughs> um, not bad. I had, I had DeWalt a long time ago, and, uh, I still think it's, I still think it's really good stuff. Yeah. Um, anything else I need to say? No, just the, uh, the variable speeds on this definitely, uh, make it more of a pleasure to use. And, uh, this flashlight thing on here is, that's just a good idea. That's a really good idea. So, that's it. Those are my thoughts on, like, three weeks of trying a different brand, and I'm totally not disappointed. I really like the chuck on this. I really like the light, and I like the speeds on this guy, so... Check it out. Um, it's a two amp hour or two amp hour, four amp hour battery. The bag and the charger. Um, this I just bought. I wanted all the things yellow, so I bought the little bit kit. I got some other stuff jammed in there. You know, I wanted it all matching. I'm kind of you know particular like that. So that's it. Thanks for watching.